Yeah, Tisha, they say art should spark a conversation, and this exhibit at the CAM has certainly done that. We are talking about a white artist who lives in New York City but was born and raised here in North Carolina, and this is her first ever solo exhibition in her native state. But there were many folks who showed up here tonight at the CAM to say her work misses the mark. On the walls of the cam tonight, the colorful canvases that have sparked a controversy and now a conversation. Who gets to interpret race and power? The cam's gallery was packed, a diverse audience eager to wade in on the debate over the paintings of Margaret Balland, who was not here, but her critics and defenders were. One of the things she was attempting to do was to provoke, right, to get us to thinking. And it's complicated. It's traumatizing. Balin's work seems larger than life. Her subjects are mostly black, and in almost all of them, their faces are smeared in paint, sometimes white, some with blue. For some, it evokes the nation's painful past of black actors forced to perform in white face makeup to entertain white audiences. For others, it's misappropriation of black culture. So I think the problem is we're tired of white people telling our stories. I don't need a white woman to represent me as a, as a black woman. Balland has said she covers her subjects in paint because that's what the world does to them, trying to turn them into people they're not, illustrating their will to survive through what the world has thrown at them. Dexter Wimberly is Balland's friend and the exhibit's curator. I realized that it was important, that it was valuable, that her experiences as a person had as much value as my experiences as a person. Monet Marshall is a performance artist and racial equity consultant whose Facebook post about the exhibition sparked a long online conversation. Monet stayed away from tonight's talk at the museum. She said, look, I want to show that my subjects have survived, that they are more than what the world sees. What's wrong with that? I think what's wrong with that is then she follows it up and saying like this is a not about race, because how can you talk about survival, survival of what? If she's not ready to then engage with the narrative that they are supposedly surviving, then you're missing a key part of that story. So you have about a month and a half to come down to the cam and see this exhibit for yourself. Make up your own mind. It will be here at the cam until June 17th. It is called Painting the Roses Red. We're live in downtown Raleigh today. I'm Joel Brown, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.